Hey everyone, welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesday and again we're on that Nutanix HV and this time we're going to be concentrating on the recovery options. So as you can see within VBR we have the ability to do quite a number of different recovery options whether it be take that Nutanix HV, instantly recover that to VMware and some interesting stuff coming around Hyper-V in version 11 but also being able to take that VMware workload and recover that into Nutanix HV. Not instantly, but again, an entire VM recovery to get that in there. What we can also do with those Nutanix HV systems is we'll restore guest files, Windows, Linux, etc. And again, we're gonna to touch more on that Linux file level recovery that I touched on what seems like a few weeks back, the uh, the ability to, to start protecting those uh, or recovering those individual files. So we can see um, also being able to pull out individual disks, etc. And this is where taking that VMware backup, we've got obviously the ability to do the instant VM, the instant disk recovery, restore entire VMs, restore entire VM to Nutanix HV, even though it's come from a vSphere environment. So being able to go in there, pick our restore point, choose next. Where is it going? Well, we've already stated that it's going from vSphere to our Nutanix cluster that's already previously been added. So we add that in. We then say, where do we want that to land? Which storage container within our HV cluster? Again, pretty simple stuff. Add that. What name would you like it to be? Do you want it to be the same or do you want to add a prefix or a suffix onto that, onto that uh, naming convention? I'm just going to leave it as is for now. What network? The network probably doesn't align to what you had in vSphere. So again, we've got the uh, configure of, it's configurable to be able to be whatever you want that to be. And then we can choose to power that on. In the, in the instance of time, I just want to show how easy that is and quickly run through this. Obviously, I couldn't do this in two minutes to take a, a full SQL 2019 box and, and get that up and running. If we then go and jump onto our, our AHV, our Prism interface, we log in. But what we're going to see now is that SQL 2019 box sat there waiting with all of its disk. And yes, it's not going to be out of the box ready to switch on and start serving data from a SQL database point of view. We haven't injected any Nutanix guest tools um, into the system. We have literally just uploaded the files. We've created the shell of the virtual machine. 